I'm standing in front of the Casa Per Se in Bucharest, Romania, right next to the Arepi Monument, where the statue of Stalin used to stand tall here, but was taken down and replaced with a symbolic wings, uh, symbolizing the freedom that ensued the fall of communism over 30 years ago. I've had the opportunity to visit this beautiful country over the past few days where I presented to the Endo students, residents and the faculty at the T2 Maiorescu University in Bucharest, followed by a talk to the Bucharest Chamber of Dental Commerce conference later that same day on the topic of endodontic obturation, which is an area where my team and I at Rewald Endo have contributed through innovation over the past 18 years by developing bioceramic sealer and putty for non-surgical and surgical applications in endodontics. The people here are extremely nice, kind and respectful, and it's always wonderful meeting so many of you who comment below these videos and then show up to these talks and introduce yourselves. It makes me so happy to put a face to your comments and it motivates me also to continue to make more videos for you. Some of you actually, like Michal here, drove from so far away and even specially baked me these delicious cookies for this occasion. I can tell you that that's really special and it means a lot to me. So thank you also, Michal. To share a quick concept from my talk on the topic of overfills and post-op pain, it's important to understand that post-op pain is generally not caused by the overfill per se. Rather, the pain is more likely related to the mechanisms that lead to the overfill meaning over-instrumentation, uh, apical perforation leading to extrusion of biological and chemical debris that are inside the root canal out into the periapical tissues. Yet, we make a common critical thinking mistake of correlating what we see on the x-ray, the extruded radio-opaque cement material, as the cause of patient's pain, whereas the actual cause is the radiolucent parts of the x-ray, the pro-inflammatory uh, microbes, uh, biofilm, and the antigens that have been extruded along with the cement that are causing the symptoms, not the sealer or the cement. The extrusion of the sealer alone due to excessive hydraulic forces without pushing significant biological debris will heal normally without any post-operative consequences and it does not affect the healing. Anyway, the conference brought together an excellent group of professionals from around the world. And after the presentations, the organizers took us on a two hour journey outside of Bucharest to a local vineyard. Romania is known for its rich wine heritage and this vineyard did not disappoint. We explored the cellar where the wine barrels aged patiently. The atmosphere was rustic and charming and it was the perfect setting for tasting Romanian wine. Each wine had a unique story flavor and sharing that experience with fellow speakers made it even more memorable. It was a wonderful opportunity to connect with other speakers and attendees as we shared stories, learned from each other and enjoyed the local culture. These moments remind me that even a highly technical field like endodontics, the human connections that we make are just as important, such as meeting you guys, coming in and watching these videos, and then coming to meet in person is always the highlight of my trips. Reflecting on my time in Bucharest, I'm grateful for a chance to share knowledge, gain new perspectives, and immerse myself in the beauty of Romania. Here's to many more opportunities to connect, learn, and grow together, both in and out of the clinic.